All right, the last thing I want to talk about is I have relative, relative max, relative min, absolute max, absolute min. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of things to write down, right? So it can be pretty simple. Absolute is absolute, right? Like the best, the highest, the greatest. So whenever you have a maximum, max min or max min, it's an absolute. All right. Obviously, if it's a max, absolute max, or if it's a if it's a maximum point, then we call it an absolute max. If this graph was inverted and that was a minimum point, we'd call it an absolute minimum. Okay. Any other point that is like a change from like increasing to decreasing is still a maximum, but we call it a local or a relative maximum. Okay. This is a minimum, but since the graph continues to go down, it's not an absolute minimum. Does everybody see that? Yeah. So this is just what we call a local min. OK? The other last thing I want to talk about, if you guys can see, is the bounded. The bounded basically means that, do you guys see how I don't go any, anywhere higher than my absolute max? So that means it's bounded, right? Kind of like you bound something in. So, it's bound, so the function is bounded below. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to write down your homework um, on the board.